driving cars carrying DNA and cutting edge technology from track to road. That is how Volvo Cars introduced the Volvo S60 and the V60 Polestar already more than 10 years ago. A lot has changed since then. Polestar went its own way as an EV performance brand, but fortunately for us Volvo enthusiasts, there is still one thing more or less the same, and that is Volvo Polestar Engineered. The car we're driving today is the Malia 24 XC60 Polestar Engineered, meaning we are on our way with the T8 Recharge Plug-in Hybrid Drivetrain. Now, the best part of that is the new upgraded three-layer battery pack, which is in this car. First, some fun figures, because in total, this car is good for 455 horsepower. That is a lot. At the rear, we have a 145 horsepower e-motor, propelling the rear wheels of the car and then up front we more or less have the standard uh, Volvo petrol engine a 2 liter 4 seal turbocharged engine which basically does the rest of that 455 horsepower this is pretty much the Volvo engine we know from all current generation Volvos it's in the T6, T8 but also in the mild hybrid cars so the B3, 4, 5 and it used to be also in like the T4, T5 and onwards it's a very popular engine also used by Geely for example the owner of Volvo cars now the best part of this new three layer battery pack is its capacity of course it's over here in the middle tunnel or in the middle console in total 18.8 kilowatt hours usable of that about 14 and a half and the WLTP range of that varies well let's say around 70 to 75 full electric kilometers which is just very useful in your daily commute or go to the gym or shopping or whatsoever now a bigger battery also means that you need to charge a bit more well Volvo also thought of that because on board is also the new or upgraded onboard charger OBC good for 6.4 kilowatt charging two-phase AC that is which means that you can charge up this battery in about three to three and a half hours. Oh, and before I forget, they also implemented one pedal driving on this plug-in hybrid. So one pedal driving is something pretty typical for electric vehicles. It's also on Volvo EVs like the C40 and XC40, but also on Teslas and other electric vehicles. And what it does is more or less function like these go-karts or bumper cars. You can accelerate and also slow down or brake just using the acceleration pedal. So when you press it, you go ahead, and when you go off the gas or off the throttle, you feel like that the car is braking a bit and eventually it will come to a complete standstill. That's very normal for EVs, but having it on a plug-in hybrid Volvo with also a petrol engine in it is very nice because one pedal driving just gives a very comfortable and very yeah, fluent-like driving experience, which is a, uh, yeah, a pretty unique selling point on a plug-in hybrid. Now, what is this Volvo Polestar engineered? Well, it refers to a high performance line of Volvo vehicles enhanced through a collaboration with Polestar, the brand's performance partner. These models are characterized by advanced engineering that boosts the power and improves handling, while also integrating unique design elements and sportier features to distinguish them from standard Volvo models. The Polestar engineered models aim to offer a more dynamic driving experience without sacrificing that Volvo comfort and safety they are pretty much well known for. For the Volvo XC60 Polestar engineered, this means the XC60 is enhanced with performance upgrades that include a powerful Polestar engineered driving mode, optimized suspension and braking system designed by Polestar for improved handling and responsiveness. It also features exclusive design elements such as these unique 21 or 22 inch alloy wheels, sporty interior trims with these cool golden seat belts i really like those and subtle exterior accents that differentiate it from the standard volvo xc60 models these enhancements provide a more dynamic driving experience while maintaining the volvo luxury safety and also practicality expected from volvo now some highlights on that are the polestar engineered brembo or akembono on the xc60 brakes and also early chassis for intuitive and highly controlled agility. That includes a strut bar as well. You can also manually adjust this Ulins setup. Now at the front, that is pretty easy to do with these knobs over there, 
but at the rear you need to jack up the car to be able to reach those Odin's dampers. That's not the easiest, so for example your dealership can also help you out with that. Now despite the fact that this is a Polestar engineered, this car is just very easy to drive, comfortable, quiet, just like right now, just having an easy cruise, then not much is happening. It's just a typical Volvo in that sense, bringing you from A to B without well, any hassle or without any real involvement of you. When you do want that, then of course, you put it in Polestar Engineer driving mode and the car wakes up. But all in all, just driving like this, it's just a very nice place to be. Comfortable, sporty seats with extra lumbar support in the sides. It's very bright in here, also thanks to the sunroof. This Polestar Engineered XC60 is like this friend everybody likes. It's, uh, it's nice for you, it's fun, it's comfortable, it's reliable. It's just a very good place to be. Now with the introduction of this new plug-in hybrid drivetrain, upgraded battery pack and whatnot, Volvo also implemented its newest infotainment system and that is in collaboration with Google. This is the Google Android Automotive OS. The whole system of the car runs on it. And personally, I like it a lot. There are a couple of benefits. So it's powered by Google. So you have all kinds of applications like Google Maps, which is real time, works via the LTE. So it's also up to date with all the traffic jams and whatnot. So that's a nice thing. But you can also download other applications from the Google Play Store. For example, TuneIn, Digital Radio, but also Park Mobile. And one we also like, in my opinion, a lot, is the YouTube applications. You can also watch, for example, my YouTube videos right over here in this car. Do note that can only be done when in park, not whilst driving. I mean, it's still Volvo, so it still needs to be safe. Now, the best part of this infotainment system is that Volvo is able to keep these cars up to date by over-the-air software updates, which means that you will receive a software update without going to the dealership. It will be pushed to your car via the LTE, the internet connection, and the car will inform you once there is a new software update available. You can schedule it, for example, at night. Whilst you're sleeping, your car will be updating and the next morning you get in, you will have the newest up-to-date Volvo software, which sometimes brings some very nice features along. So recently they upgraded the general Android Automotive OS from 10 to 12, but also a fun application arrived with it some updates ago, like YouTube, for example. So yeah, this over-the-air update thing, which comes with the Google infotainment system, is just very nice. Okay, now plenty of nice words about this XC60 Polestar engineered. Whilst I like it a lot, of course there are cons. I mean, all things have cons, right? Name me a thing that doesn't have a con. But yeah, the first thing, and maybe you notice it as well on this road, which is already a bit of a bumpy road, and perhaps the camera is shaking a bit more because of that, is that this Eulens suspension, which comes with the Polestar Engineered package, whilst it drives really great, it's also stiff and sometimes just really uncomfortable, a bit too hard. Now, don't get me wrong, of course, you opt for that when you choose a Polestar Engineered Volvo, but at certain moments this week, I thought I had a flat tire because it was just so hard and so bumpy on certain roads. Yeah, it was just a bit uncomfortable at those moments. And yes, as I said already, you opt for that. But still, I think it's a good thing to keep in consideration, especially because you can also opt for air suspension on this XC60, not on the Polestar Engineered, of course, which are on the Eulens, but it does come as an option on the XC60 Ultra trim, for example good to keep in mind. Another thing which stressed me out this week are the 22 inch wheels which are underneath this XC60. It are the special Polestar engineered wheels. They look lovely. My favorite Volvo wheel ever. I really like them. Standard on the XC60 Polestar engineered you get 21 inch wheels which is already pretty big and then this one has the 22. Of course that takes away a bit of the ride comfort but mostly I've been just stressing out at each car park, each curb I came close to because there is not much rubber between, well, the, the curb and the wheel. And I do not want to curb these wheels, that would be a shame. So yeah, just keep that in mind as well that you will surely damage these wheels like in a couple of years. That's unfortunate, but just a guarantee I will give you. Now I've been enjoying this week in this car a lot. I went out there just to drive this car and I'll be honest with you, that's something I do not really have in my own C40. Volvo is full focus on EVs and Polestar is now a standalone brand for performance electric vehicles. So will there be any future for Volvo Polestar engineered? 
I doubt that. And realizing that makes me a bit sad, unfortunately. I think the only thing I can do for now is put this car back in the drive mode of Polestar Engineered and enjoy this kind of Volvo car as long as I can. Thank you for watching and see you next time.